Hi, my name is Julio Casal and in this screencast I would like to introduce you to the new basic configuration of Visual Studio 2010 Team Foundation Server. If you need uh, information on how to install Team Foundation Server, which is what we're not covering in this screencast, you can check um, my blog, juliocasal.com, where I created a just published uh, blog post about installing Team Foundation Server basic configuration um, basically on a Windows 7 machine a client machine you don't you don't need a server computer for this okay so once you have the foundation server installed in your computer how do you get started well the first thing that you have to do is to create your team project so well before that you need to connect to team foundation server so we just click there connect to Team Foundation Server, let's go to the Servers dialog add and let's add our local instance of Team Foundation Server ok, let's click OK close and now we can see our local server here our default collection where these collections are just like uh, groups of team projects so you can better uh, manage them let's connect this and now you can see the default collection in the right side now that we have this we will uh, right click and create a new team project for this uh, simple uh, example we will just create a small windows application for listing a series of uh, book titles in, this is in our bookstore so let's just call this books we have to choose one um, one development process for this one we will just choose the MSS for Agile software development version 5 let's create an empty source control folder and finish so what Visual Studio is doing right now is uh, creating all the source control uh, store in our local SQL Server Express database okay this will include also the definitions for the work items that we will be able to create so using MSF uh, for Agile 5 you can create work items like user stories which is the, the basic the basic work item that you will uh, have to use in this process uh, you can also create tasks you can create uh, box of course for bug tracking and several other uh, work items we will just create a simple user story for this example and then uh, do all the source control stuff related okay so right now the wizard is about to end and it just end so let's close this in the right side you can see we do have the team project created and what we're going to do right now is to right click and select new work item user story or just new user story if you already did this command before so what we want to do let's state what the customer wants to do here so as a customer I want to see a list of all the available books okay so the customer wants to see the, the list of all available books let's just uh, we do not have to complete all this stuff right now let's just uh, say that this will be assigned to me to Julio and the state is active recent new and for iteration let's just choose our product backlog where this product backlog is where we will store all the user stories basically all the requirements that will be related to this uh, to this application so with this created let's just close and save it and now that we have the user story what we have to do is of course to create our project so let's go to file new project and we will choose our WPF application we will call it books ok so our project is just being created we will just add a simple uh, grid data grid the new data grid included in WPF4 to display the 
the customers from our local database. I will be using the old and popular POPS database for this example. So let's just wait while this is loading. So what the first thing that we should do here before even starting coding here is to add this uh, solution to source control. So So, let's just right click here and select add solution to source control. <laughs> we have to choose um, a, a collection. Well, we already know of the collection, default collection. We have to choose the team project. We could create new folders here. We will not do that right now. And let's just click OK. Once we do this, our project is ready to be added to source control. We will do the appropriate uh, check in to source control a little bit later. So right now let's just code quickly code this application. So I will do some something quick stuff. So for now let's just uh, change the default layout of this application to an stack panel. This is just for layout purposes. And once we are here, let's we will need some of course some data script. So let's open up the or data sources window, let's add a new data source we will need a database data source and an entity data model we can also choose a, a data set but for this example we will just use entity data model so what the wizard will do now is to um, prompt us for a database to connect to I, as I said, I prepared the POPS database in my local SQL Server Express installation. And now we will uh, select which table we will use now. So let's use the titles table and click finish. The wizard will now create our entity data model in our project. It will also add several references to the .NET framework. Okay, and in the end we will see our new data source appear in this left panel. So you can see we already have our, our table here. We will just close this for now. And we can see our titles and table in the data source. We will just drag this to the main surface. Okay, and you can see we do have it right there. Let's just make it look better. Let's just remove the both height and the width. So it will fill all the screen. And for example, for title, let's just do not uh, width to the header, do not size to the header, but to the full contents of, of that column. Once we do that, let's debug, start without debugging. See what we got. And there we go. Our application is up and running. We have all the titles as the customer required. So we can say that this application is complete. So let's now just close this, this, and this. And what we have to do right now is to check in this source code into the source control so we will just right click there check in we have to uh, choose which is the associated work item we do have the user story associated and we will associate this to our check in okay so now our application is into source control and in a very similar way as and source safe provided us before and we can keep working with Visual Studio in Foundation Server we can do, do bug tracking, build process stuff and well that's all I got for today hope you liked it see you again